The Elevate Bridge Slotting Jib can handle any common bridge design, regardless of saddle slot width or angle. The jig is made of machined aluminum and an acrylic template that pivots on a precision shoulder bolt. The body of the jig has a few features that make it easy to set up. First is a scale on the top of the jig which is used to set the angle of the saddle slot. Next are the two fences, one of which has a V-shape designed into it so that you can work on pre-shaped bridges as well as rectangular blanks. Lastly are the movable work stops for setting the length of the slot. To start, you'll first need to mark the bridge with a few different measurements. A center line, the length of the saddle slot, and the distance from the middle of the slot to the front edge of the bridge on one end. It's important that this last marking is from the middle of the slot and not an edge as the alignment tool included with the jig works off of the center location. To begin setting up the jig, we'll start with setting the angle. This is achieved by rotating the template around the shoulder bolt. You'll need to know your desired slope. There's plenty of information online about this topic, so for simplicity's sake in this tutorial, I'm going to use the Campiano standard of 1 8 of an inch over 3 inches. The scale on the top of the jig is based on the center location, which means we need to divide these figures in half to set the template correctly. So in this case, I'm going to measure 1 16th of an inch at 1 and a half inches from center and then lock it down. And I'm moving the template counterclockwise because it's for a right-handed guitar. If you're building a left-handed instrument, simply rotate the template in the opposite direction. Now that the template is set at the desired angle, it's time to start aligning the bridge in the base. Start by roughly centering the bridge and bumping the fences up against it. Now insert the alignment tool through the template and slide it to the end that was marked for the distance from the middle of the saddle slot to the front edge of the bridge. Using the top fence, move the bridge until the point of the alignment tool lines up with your mark then lock the top fence in place with the lock screws on the bottom of the jig. Next we want to set the bottom fence. This one is used to hold the bridge in place while routing. I like to use a clamp to squeeze the bridge tightly, then lock the lower fence in place with the lock screws. The final step is to set the work stops. This will require a little bit of math. We need to know the difference between the diameter of the cutter being used and the diameter of the guide bushing. The included guide bushing is 3 8 of an inch and the slot I'm routing is 1 quarter of an inch wide. This means the difference between the two diameters is an eighth of an inch. Now divide this measurement in half. This is the gap needed between the end of the alignment tool and the work stops, so in this case I'm going to leave a sixteenth of an inch. Now take the alignment tool and place it at the mark for the end of the saddle slot on one end. Bring the work stop over and set the gap between it and the alignment tool to the measurement just calculated. Repeat this on the other side, then double check your measurements between work stops. In this case, my saddle slot is 3 inches long and my gaps are a sixteenth of an inch each, so the work stops should be 3 and an eighth of an inch apart. Once you're satisfied with the setup of the jig and you've ensured everything is clamped down securely, it's time to route your saddle slot. The depth of the slot is a personal preference. Here I've already got my depth set on my plunge router and I'll take a few passes to cut the slot. The Elevate Bridge Slotting Jig makes routing saddle slots accurate and repeatable regardless of width, angle, or bridge shape. Get yours today at elevatelutheri.com.